What's going on YouTube? Uh, thank you for tuning in. Today's video is a question and answer video. I'm going to be reading a couple questions, answering them to the best of my ability. And yeah, we'll go from there. I'm not sure how many questions I'm gonna answer, but I do have a lot of them right now, so let's just jump right into it. Um, first question is, who was your favorite teacher and why? So when I was in college, I um, took African American history for um, just a perspective class and just because it seemed interesting. Um, honestly, was one of the greatest classes I ever took. Um, and who was your favorite teacher and why? So favorite teacher was the actually the teacher of that class, the African American history class. Um, he was awesome, um, made every single day interesting. I've never really been a big fan of history at all, but that class was the best class I ever took. And the second one, um, I actually took another class from him that I didn't need to take, but I just wanted to because I wanted to have him again. Um, it was Civil Rights Movement, and it was honestly beyond um, great. I loved that class. It was super interesting. He made every single thing um, in that class interesting, and it always kind of engaged everybody. Um, what is my favorite song? So currently, my favorite song is by State Champs. Uh, I believe it's called Mine is Gold. Um, what is my favorite book? So, favorite book um, is... I love the Harry Potter series, but honestly, I have to say all the Lord of the Rings books. Um, what is my favorite film? Favorite film. So, kind of weird, my favorite film is uh, the Saw, all the Saw, all the Saw movies. Um, I absolutely love all of them, but not for like the whole like, you know, people getting cut up aspect, but for the whole just um, psychological thing, you know, it kind of puts people in a place where they either have to do this or this, and if they really want to do it, they can. If they don't, then, you know, they end up kind of, you know, what happens. But yeah, I really love those movies. Um, who would I play in a film? Um, I don't know. Um, I never really thought about that, um, but if I were to do a film, it would be something kind of medieval, um, you know, with swords and dragons and tons of nerd shit. So, um, let's see, what time period would I visit in history? Uh, I don't know. Um, I feel like the Boston Tea Party was kind of cool. Um, but I don't, I don't really know. I don't really know uh, what part in history I would ever like to visit. Um, have I ever locked myself out of the house? So, no I haven't. I've never actually locked myself out of my house. I always make sure I have my keys before I leave my house. Um, what famous person would I like to meet? Uh, probably Beyonce. Beyonce would be super awesome to meet. Um, let's see. Um, who would I like to be for a day? Um, Probably, hmm, I don't know. I honestly don't know who I would be for a day. Um, yeah, um, what is my, what would be my perfect job? A perfect job would be a job where I don't have to do anything and make a whole bunch of money. I feel like that is everybody's perfect job. But um, to be realistic, my favorite job, my perfect job would be something um, creative. Uh, you know, um, something where I like to, you know, I kind of give people uh, advice on something. I don't know. Um, honestly, just I, I haven't really thought of it. Um, if I could make one wish come true, what would it be? A uh, wish, probably to be, to probably to fly. Flying would be completely awesome. I feel like that would be the best wish ever. Um, what is my hidden talent? I'm not gonna tell you because it is my hidden talent and why would I give that away? Um, if I had buried treasure, where would I bury it? Uh, I'm not gonna tell you because I don't want you to look for my treasure if I do have treasure. Um, do I still watch cartoons? Uh, yes, I do. Uh, SpongeBob will always be one of my favorite cartoons. Um, I don't know, I, but yeah, I still do watch cartoons. 
Um, am I afraid of heights? So heights, um, I'm not super scared of, but I know for a fact if I ever were to go skydiving and I was standing at the side of the plane, that I would definitely be um, scared. Definitely would be scared, but generally I'm not super afraid of heights. Um, let's see, this moment in your life. Um, I'm not too sure. Um, I have a lot of funny moments in my life, um, especially since I've had a kid now, but uh, I'm not too sure. Um, have I ever stolen a street sign? Uh, I feel like I have at some point in my life when I was a kid, um, but I really don't remember if I ever have. Um, do I drink with dinner? Um, generally I have water or something like that, but I haven't had alcohol in a while, so um, there's that. Um, do I sing in the car? Uh, always. Uh, I, know I am a terrible singer. But if I'm in the car and I'm listening to a song that I really like, I will definitely start playing it um, and start singing and doing all that. Um, let's see, where would I like to be in five years' time? So in five years' time, I would like to, um, I would like to have a house. I would like to be doing what I love doing, um, something creative. Um, I would be at the peak of my job, um, just, you know, probably married, hopefully, just, you know, doing everything that I want to do in my life. Um, have ever gone with mismatched socks or shoes? So almost every day I wear mismatched, mis, mismatched socks. Um, definitely usually wear them. I don't know why, I just kind of grab two socks, put them on. If they don't match, whatever, it doesn't matter because people generally don't judge you on your socks. But sometimes I do like to match my socks depending on the socks that I'm wearing that day. Um, what is the best praise or advice you've ever received? So, um, pretty much when my son was born, everyone was telling me that he's super cute and all that stuff so yeah that uh you know that was super awesome um have ever won a trophy or a medal so weird thing when i was a kid um, my parents have a garden that we used to work on all the time and do all this stuff and um we used to have like these vegetable contests and they were uptown at like this uh parade thing that we used to do um so we'd go there, we'd enter our vegetable baskets, and I actually won a couple times. Um, my sister also won a couple times as well. So other than that, I haven't really won many medals or anything. I um, didn't, you know, I never was really into that kind of stuff, but definitely that's the one thing that I do remember, and I do remember love, to, I do love, I do remember um, loving to do it. Um, Let's see, what was my favorite birthday or Christmas present? Um, so actually, my favorite was this. My girlfriend got me this watch for Christmas and it's a super awesome watch. It is a fossil watch and it actually goes with everything and it's actually really high quality. And so yeah, I, super, I love this watch, it's super amazing. So shout out to my girlfriend for that. Um, let's see. What is the dumbest way I've ever injured myself? So, um, I think the dumbest, so I hurt my, so I broke my foot at one point. And um, it was when I was at work and I was moving a, um, uh, fryer hood and it actually ended up falling on my foot and broke my foot and um, I ended up going to the hospital I almost actually lost that toe and oh to answer an earlier question um, so I almost lost a toe and it was actually one of the like babier toes and I had to prepare myself mentally for them cutting off the rest of that toe and um, probably a small toe would be something I could live without because it's something that, you know, even if you end up, 
um, losing it, it's not really a huge issue. It's just gonna be super painful for a couple months, but after that, it's like, you know, that's really it. Um, I would never wanna lose my big toe because I heard that you use that for balance, and I feel like that would just be the worst thing ever. Um, or would I love to go on a holiday? So Hawaii is always going to be my favorite place. It is super fun there. It's always warm. Um, even when it rains, it doesn't really matter because it's just like it rains for 20 minutes and it's still nice outside. Um, so yeah, I would love to do that. Uh, what is my favorite drink? Um, I don't know, I just drink a lot of water. So I guess that's my favorite drink. Um, which task or chore is my favorite? I don't know, I don't really like chores that much, but I have to do them because I'm an adult. So, uh, I don't know, I guess taking out the trash because it, I don't know, you get outside for a couple minutes. Um, what do I dip my chicken nuggets in? So, barbecue sauce, barbecue sauce, barbecue sauce, every single time. Um, not really a big fan of ketchup, but um, barbecue sauce will always be, you know, my top thing. Um, Let's see, do I believe in ghosts? So, no, definitely, but um, paranormal activity kind of opened my eyes a little bit. And I also went to like a couple abandoned places and stuff and I feel like the whole abandoned kind of thing really makes you feel scared. But I've never really, I've never really been, you know, that kind of person that's like, oh my God, there's a ghost here. Or, oh my God, I don't know, um, I don't know what's going on. You know, that's it's weird creaking and stuff. Because like I grew up in a really old house, so there's tons of creaking and squeaking and stuff like that that's going out, going on throughout the whole day, um, and also at night. So I kind of got used to it. So I've never really been that kind of person that um, really believed in ghosts. I like the idea of it but I really don't believe in them that much. Um, let's see, if you could invite five famous or noted people, past or present, to dinner, who would I choose? Uh, let's see. Um, Beyonce, definitely. Um, I cannot remember his name and I'm super sorry for it, but the guy that played um, the main actor in Get Out, I cannot remember his name for the life of me. Um, let's see, I would like to have probably President Obama. Um, he just seems like a super interesting guy and I would love to sit down and actually talk to him. Um, who else? Uh, I really, I don't know, there's not really that many people that I'm super like, hey, I need to sit down with you guys and talk, but maybe Machine Gun Kelly, um, definitely NF. I don't, if you guys have never heard of NF, you really need to go and like, go on YouTube and listen to some of his songs. Cause like that dude really spits out a lot of great music and it is really interesting to actually kind of listen to him create this whole story. Um, what is my favorite TV show and why? So I, watch um, a lot of TV um, depending on you know what I'm really interested in at the time but generally um, I love I love good animes and by good animes I mean like Attack on Titan, Tokyo Ghoul, Parasite, those kind but I'm not I don't know like I, I do like reality TV sometimes like Boy Meets World um, was a really good show. So it, it really depends, um, but I kind of go around everything. I like a lot of like real life things. So like there used to be this show that was called I Shouldn't Be Alive. I really loved that show. Just because um, you kind of get a story about some person's experience on why they shouldn't be alive. And it was actually really interesting, um, but I love Animal Planet and stuff like that. So. Uh, yeah, that's, I don't know, just everything, basically. Um, really don't like uh, shows that are like really dramatized. That's never really been interesting to me. Um, do I cut out coupons and never use them? So, I don't know, it's probably like once or 
twice a week we get like this book thing with like coupons and um, sales that are going on at grocery stores and stuff like that and um, honestly I always keep them and I never bring them to the grocery store and every time I'm at the grocery store I always say I'm stupid I should have grabbed that and you know looked at different discounts and coupons and stuff like that because you actually save a lot of money in those so I don't know why I never did it but um, I have like a pile of them right here and it's just kind of keeps piling and piling up but definitely um, I need to remember to bring those um, which animal would I choose to be? So I feel like being a bear would be kind of cool um, because you're big and strong and you know, whatever. I don't know, I feel like it'd be interesting. Um, let's see, if I, what would I do if I had a million dollars? So funny thing, so I feel like a lot of people, um, I've actually asked this question to other people and kind of got their input on it. I feel like it would be super, I feel like a lot of people, um, they feel like, you know, a million dollars is a ton of money and they can go do a lot of stuff and, you know, they never have to work again. Um, that's not really the case. Um, for me personally, I would, I, I mean, I'm not saying a million dollars isn't a lot of money, because it is. It is a huge, huge amount of money. Um, but honestly, if I had a million dollars, I would probably um, put a lot of it in the bank. Um, I would buy a house, um, probably move somewhere where I really want to move, and then um, use it to find a job or um, fund something that I really want to do. So I feel like that would be probably what I would end up doing, but I definitely would always keep working. I wouldn't just kind of take the million dollars and be like, I never have to work again because, I mean, if you're a lot of people who get a ton of money end up spending it on a lot of dumb things and then they end up broke by the end of the year and they're back to where they were before so i never want to be like that and i always want to be smart smart with my money um let's see uh what is the most random thing you've ever watched all the way through on netflix uh i don't know um i generally try to watch things that are interesting on netflix but uh, I don't know. I, I try to watch generally interesting stuff, so I don't, I don't know. I haven't really watched like a lot of random things. Um, let's see. What is, who is the most inspirational person I know? Um, I want to say, I don't know. Um, I want to say like President Obama was really inspirational because he was very like to the point with a lot of things and really tried to help out people as much as he possibly could but again I, I'm not I'm not really sure um, I just like people that are very genuine um, positive and just kind of are a little bit different because if everybody was exactly the same life would be super super boring and you would hate it but Definitely um, anybody who kind of sticks out a little bit and does something that's kind of outside the norm, that is the kind of person that inspires me. Um, can I change the oil in my car? I can, but I don't like to do it and I pay someone else to do it because I am one of those people that is super lazy. Um, what is the first concert I ever went to? First concert I ever went to um, was with one of my friends and it was My Chemical Romance. I wish that band was still a band, but uh, you know, stuff happens. But definitely, that was one of my favorite concerts ever. Uh, Nike or Adidas? Uh, not really particular on either, but I wear both. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I, I think I have more Nike stuff than Adidas, but it really doesn't matter to me. Clothes are clothes. Um, can I curl my tongue? Uh, I believe so. Um, what is the last concert I saw? So I actually went to a concert a couple days ago. I saw Burials, Counterparts, and Have Mercy, as well as Being as an Ocean. Um, super amazing show, and I loved every second of it. Um, can I swim well? Yes, I can. Um, I took swimming lessons when I was a kid, and we've always gone places whenever my family traveled, and we always 
you know, did whatever we could when it came to swimming, being in water and stuff like that. So yeah, I definitely know how to swim. Um, let's see, was I ever a Girl Scout? I don't think so because I'm a boy. Um, what irritates me the most? Um, I don't know, like little things, I guess. I don't really have major things that irritate me, just uh, people that definitely chew with their mouth open bother me a lot, just because it's kind of, you don't want to see what other people are chewing on. So, um, especially when, like kids are fine. Kids do that all the time. But when you're like a grown person and you're sitting there like on a date or you're in public and you're just sitting there chewing with your mouth open, that's kind of gross. And I feel like you sh as an adult shouldn't do that um, let's see and I think we're gonna wrap this up with a couple more questions and then we should be all set um, if I was a flower which one would I be <sighs> Daisy easy you know um, what is my favorite drink oh I actually already did that question um, would I rather be an apple or an orange Apple, because I feel like everyone loves them. Um, what is the worst smelling place I've ever been to? I went to, I was actually on my way back um, to my house from work and I stopped at a restaurant. I'm not gonna name the specific restaurant, but I stopped at the restaurant and um, just to grab something to eat and I walked in and it literally smelled like somebody died in there. It was so gross, it smelled disgusting. I was in there for maybe two minutes waiting in line and I just left because I was like, ah, it's disgusting, I don't wanna be in here. Um, if I had to change my name, what would my new name be and why would you choose that name? I actually like my name, I wouldn't change it, so. Uh, yeah, if I had a boat, if I if I had to name um, my boat, if I had one, what would I name it? The SS Cruise, maybe. I don't know. I don't. I don't really need a boat ever in my life. Um, let's see. And I think this is gonna be my very last question. What is my favorite food? So. My favorite food, uh, my girlfriend makes really, really good pasta. Um, so definitely that's my favorite food. So there you have it. Um, I'm not sure how many questions I answered, but I did a whole bunch. So uh, please subscribe to our channel. We'll try and upload as much as we can. And with that, until next time, peace guys.